Hi guys, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth Kim. If you're seeing this space for the first time, I share my own experiences as a foreigner here in Germany. I share other foreigner stories which can inspire people. And today, as you can see, guys, we have a special guest, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi guys, it's one boy. Uh, you can call me Lucy if you like. Um, I am from Naivasha, Kenya, to be precise, and I live in Germany. And first of all, thank you so much, Ruth, for inviting me to this channel. Welcome. So I'm a mother of one daughter. Most of you know her, and I am married. Yes. So Lucy, how long have you been here in Germany, and how did you come? So um, I came to Germany in the year 2010, and I came as an au pair. I used to live near Hamburg. Um, yeah, so I came as an au pair. So I know you guys, you're asking yourself, yourselves, why is Lucy here? Lucy is a dental assistant and she's going to guide us through the process of becoming a dental assistant here in Germany. But before we get there, Lucy, you said you came to Germany as an au pair. Like, how did you get to do this house building? After your au pair, what did you do? So yes, after my au pair, I did something we call FSJ uh, or Freiwillige Soziales, yeah. Uh, I know it's a long word, but yes. So I did the FSJ for, you know, for one year. And then from there, I wanted to do nursing. But guys, sincerely speaking, my grades were not good. So the next possible thing was to try caregiver. I did not get a chance. So I had to get another six more months in the FSJ. So you did your volunteer for 18 months instead of 12 exactly. months. Exactly, oh, okay. exactly. So before I was done, I got, um, you know, I got my letter back. And so I got a chance. So I did the one year. <laughs> so, yes, I did the one year apprenticeship as um, assistant caregiver. Around that time, I met my husband, you know, my now hus husband. Mm -hmm. We got married, and by that time, I was done with my year, one year um, Flege Ausbildung. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so then we moved to now where I live, in Ludwigsburg. Mm -hmm. And that's when I thought, okay, we've moved to this place. I think I want to try something new. And that's when, yeah, I decided now to do what I have been doing till now. So yes. after after your one year care uh, assistant caregiver apprenticeship, you moved yes. from the place you were doing to your uh, your house building to the place you are living now, and exactly. then you decided it's time for you to do something new. Yes. And what did you do? What did exactly, you I did the dental nurse, or if you like, you can call it. Um, in German, we say Zahnmedizinische Fachangestellte. Mm -hmm. I did it for three good years, but you guys, you can even do it, you know, you can do it for shorter years. You don't have to do the three years, but then your, note, your, your notes or your grades must really be really, really good notes. So that means you can do it for two and a half years, mm -hmm. not the full three years. Exactly. So, but for me, Sincerely speaking, I did it for three good years. So you decided to become a dental nurse. Can you say dental assistance or dental nurse is better? That or, for it, for me, the same? let me tell you, for me, okay, I've seen a lot of discussion online. People, you know, you don't say this, you have to say this. Dental assistant, dental nurse, you know, I think for, for me personally, as Wamboi, as Lucy, dental assistant, dental nurse, it's all good. <laughs> so long as we are doing the right thing. So, okay. yeah. Okay. As a foreigner, which German level do you need to do this uh, dental nurse ausbildung, apprenticeship? Oh, yeah. At least you have to have a B2. Yes. And okay. then you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the other ausbildungs nowadays. You can't do an ausbildung without the B2. Yeah. Okay. And Lucy, back then, when you decided mm -hmm. to do the house building, did you have to get your documents, like your certificates from Kenya recognized or you just applied and it was good? No, no, no. I did not have uh, my, 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 my documents recognized or verified or such. I really just uh, gathered my 
my certificates, the ones I had from primary school, secondary school, and whatever I had done in, back, back in Kenya. And then I just attached them, applied, and that's it. Like they really did not ask for anything like, they actually did not ask for B1 or B2, but at least today you have to have a B2 to start the house building. No, I did not have my documents recognized. Did you translate them from English to German or still? No, 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 no. Ah, then it's so much easier. <laughs> yeah. So, so guys, if you see me looking down, it's because I have notes. Yeah, I have notes. I have to get the right questions for you guys. Yeah. Anyways. I've also written a few things. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that uh, I don't forget any information. Why did you yeah. decide to do the dental nurse or the dental assistant? I was willing and not something else. Sincerely speaking, a lot of people were, you know, uh, commenting about my teeth and all that. That's actually not the first reason. I just woke up and I thought, hmm, why not? Let me try something else. else. And also, you know, oh, Wambo, you have really nice teeth. And I thought, wow, teeth. Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, so yeah, it was that. That's not the main reason, but I just wanted to do something different. And yeah. When you decide to do this house like you now, let's say I want to become a dental assistant or a dental nurse. Where mm -hmm. do I start? Do I approach, go to the dental practice or where do I start? So the first thing you do, of course, you decide you want to do that. That's number one. And then you will go, you will enter in internet, you will look around or maybe ask around, you know, or just apply whatever uh, clinics uh, praxis, praxis. Mm -hmm. clinics, uh, yeah. yeah exactly clinics you apply and just go there so the first thing that will happen you will have to do um probation probetag mm -hmm. at least probation. one one two three days mm -hmm. and then you get to learn and see if it's something you want to, to do and how the you know the workers the the the, the doctors how they are and really see if it's something you you want to do so it doesn't have a lot of, I don't know what. You just apply and that's it. So yeah. you are uh, you approach dental clinics and when it comes to school, like where do you go? Or you look from the internet as well? Um, so in my case, so, and, and guys, about this, I'm mainly speaking about myself or how this worked for me. So in, in my case, um, it was like this. The the clinic that i got they normally send their students to that one main school like automatically i was sent to that school like they work with the school so it's important you first ap approach the dental clinic and then when you get the uh, uh, plats when you get the chance they yes. send you to the schools they work with yes ah, yes yes now i got that exactly how yes. long is the hospital long? you said it's three years but you can reduce your years up to two and yes. a half years yeah it's three uh three years and if you're really good like i said earlier on uh you can do it for two two and a half years and you're good during those three years of your house building what what are some of the challenges you face like you faced while doing the house building as a kenyan or as a foreigner yeah oh my god guys there are few challenges Number one, in my in my class, we were like 24 ladies. Mm -hmm. And I was among the like two eldest people in my class. So now, right now, I'm 32 years old. Mm -hmm. There was another lady who was 56 or no, 50 in my class. And you can imagine, you know, all these ladies, they are between, let me say, some were 17, 18. What I'm saying is these ladies, they still are not so mature. So, you know, the noise and the how the, being rude mm -hmm. to the teachers, you know, yeah. the noise, like they're still, they're trying to, they're, they're still, grow I don't know how to put it. Like, I really don't want it to sound like, like they're not, they're really not mature. I don't know how to put it. So like, like yeah. it was a challenge for you to be in a class with youngies, with teenagers or people who are still don't know if that's what they want to do or not. 
then there's that rudeness, they are loud. They, like they, they still have that utoto, utoto in them and it was really challenging. Anyways, apart from that, um, language barrier, I'm, I'm really good in German, but guys, the medicine, the, the, the medicine words, the, it, it was just too much. The biology, the, the anatomy, the, guys, it was, oh my God, it, it was, it was crazy. But, but but you made it, Lucy. <laughs> I made it. I made it. Oh my God, I made it. Yeah. And were you treated differently in your class because of your race or your oh my the God. color of your skin? There's all there will always be this one or two people who if you're good in whatever, if I'm good in this area, they will be like why dish like you. You, you see, like some of them will not want to, you know, to accept that a black can also get good notes. There was, there were a few, there were a few. Let me just be. Hmm? So I assume like you go for theory and yeah. then you go for praxis. What about in your pra uh, praxis? Did you face any challenges? Oh my God. Yes, I did. So I used to have two days in a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, the you know the dual uh, apprenticeship the three years so that is Mondays and Wednesdays I used to go to school mm -hmm. and then the other days that is uh, Tuesday Thursday and Friday I used to, to work so and yes there were some challenges you will always meet these one or two workers who you don't come along with them but mm -hmm. you manage and even let me my bosses so far uh, they they were okay, but some of course mm, we all know. Mm? <laughs> Anyways, but what I'm saying is, and some patients. Oh my God, mm? Mm -hmm. have you ever seen someone we look like? We look at you like, did you like the, the the way they look at you? It it shows you, and you can even read what they're about to ask. Uh, like, do you even know what you want to do before you know? I let you touch my mouth and also have really good experiences whereby a patient comes and just wants you to assist, you know, to assist the doctor in treating them, you know, like, like a fan base, let me say so. Also in the clinic, you have such people, patients and also workers, you know, but there are always those small, small challenges in school and at work. And I faced them and okay. they made me who I am today and I'm, and I'm okay. Uh, how much do they pay during the house building? Um, yeah. So during the house building, the first year you get around 900 euros. That's brutal. Like, um, brutal. Like, gross, gross income. Yeah. Ado, 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 okay, and all that. Like, that's, yeah, 900 euros. And then you go to second Six, year, you yeah. get around 950. And then your third year, you get. 1000 so the next question lucy is is the job for both genders because most of the time when you go to the dental clinics you find ladies is the house building or the job itself for both genders let me tell you so first of all let me answer it's for both genders okay mm -hmm. but we, we even had a conversation with Maish. Maish, for those who don't know him my husband let me tell you i don't know why like i told you earlier on my class had like 24 ladies there was no, no any man, no, I, like what's happening? And we had that conversation and he was like, so he works in the IT, whatever area. And also in his area of work or the career, he says there are like more men that, than ladies. I don't know why it's only ladies. Like also in the praxis or in the clinic, but we I did think not have like... a single man in the, in the clinic. I don't know what's wrong, man. But Can you see, tell us? I yeah. think it's it's like normal nursing. Like normally, you know, female nurses. It's very very rare to find yes. male nurses. I think it's generally like people uh -huh. see it as a, a career for women. True. As a qualified dental nurse, how much do you make? So, as a qualified, um, also let me mention one thing. It will depend on the area the the, the bundes whatever the or bundesland the or state, what, 
the, exactly. It will depend on the state you live in. Mm -hmm. But at least, let me say approximately, 2,500 to 2,800 and even some 3,000, 3, sorry, I was away, a we can update. And even some uh, clinics, they will pay like 3,000 euros brutal. As you continue, you know, you know quali you're qualified, you've worked for many years, the more you even the more you get you know so depending as well with your experiences you make more the more you grow in the industry or in the market you make more money you're right yes the next question is how is the job hunt after you graduate is it so hard to find jobs or it's like just like any other nursing job job hunt i i me working the food alley occasion because job. Like if they terminate my contract today, I'll just apply the next clinic. Like the job hunt is really you get you get jobs all over as a but, dental but system. Most of, but most of the time, Lucy, we don't have so many dental clinics. We don't have so many. So apart Ooh. from the dental clinics, where else can you work as a dental nurse? <laughs> Somewhere else that you can work as a dental nurse, you, you can work in health health insurance uh, department. Mm -hmm. You can work in hospitals. You can work in uh, senior and high mess, senior homes or mm -hmm. uh, elderly homes. What are your career chances? As in, how can you grow as a dental nurse? So, as a dental assistant, uneza, uh, you can do um, further, like you can study more like do more that is for example you can do um favaltum's assistant that's the paperwork in the practice the whole abrasion what's abrasion uh, professional teeth cleaning that's a uh, vital building you can do uh, dental hygienist i'm a dental hygienica you can become a practice manager you can do you can do labor technique like you can do a course to work with the lab technician, Ama, to work as a lab technician, exactly. What excites you the most about your career? About teeth is not just what you're seeing, it's really a whole wide, I don't know how to call it. So the patient comes with really bad state, we do the treatment, and then after a few, whatever, depending on how long the process is, the patient gets really nice teeth and the patient walks out of our clinic with a big smile. That excites me, guys. How is it like to work with a doctor hapa kwa hapa, side by side? Oh my God, it's amazing. It's, it's really nice. Like you get those um, tasks. The doctor mm -hmm. tells you to do so and so and so. And you feel good. You, you, feel, you feel learned. Mm -hmm. You know, working hands, like the doctor is trusting you, the patient is trusting you, you know, you know what you're doing. It feels good. But also, like I said earlier on, there are really bad experiences whereby a doctor, a certain doc doctor doesn't want to work with you mm -hmm. for whatever reasons. But it's really good. Would you recommend that career? Would you like recommend that job? I, I would. I would. I would recommend. 100% recommend, recommend. I love what I do and it's amazing. Yes, it's amazing. So, so Lucy, yes. uh, we are done with the interview, but I have something. I'm that person that doesn't like going to the dentist, especially when oh I have God. to open my mouth for like 30 minutes. You, you guys should give us that something to bite. Baisa. No, we, we have. We, ha we have. There, there are really patients who... But we give that to really those long therapies. Talk about the winter. Yeah. Ah, okay. So we give the the, the, the bice, whatever, the bice kyle. We call it bice kyle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Whereby it, it will open the mouth. You don't have to, like, it's there. It's there. But we give that to patients, like, for those lange behandlungen, for long treatments. Because there are treatments whereby it will take us, like, three hours. Ah, okay. And and by the way, before, four I, forget, hours. Yeah. before I forget, apart yeah. from helping the doctor and vacuuming the water 
and asking the patient to gargle or gargle, what else do you do? A lot of people think that working at the dental assistant is just holding that vacuum. Vacuum, the big, we know we have that big one and the small one, okay? Mm -hmm. And holding the mouth. Guy, guys, we, we do a lot of things. Sometimes I do things and I think like, wow, Lucy, are you a doctor? Yes. <laughs> I'm into that one day. Anyways, it's not only holding. We do a lot of things. You know, we have a lot of off garbage. Well, what are those off garbage? Yeah, we do, we do uh, a lot with hygiene. We call it uh, instrument of peritin. You know, making sure that every instrument, the hygiene area, Kwanza, Kwameno, dental clinics that one for us is our own all like that one is our number one priority mm -hmm. so that is hygiene process you know um doing the denture whatever abdul kename maki translating is so hard mm -hmm. so you do so anyway a lot of docu well. a lot of sorry documentation documentation exactly documentation um guiding showing the patients you know lucy thank you so much for guiding us through the process of becoming a dental nurse guys if yeah. you have any questions feel free to put them on the comment section so that lucy can get back to you by the way we forgot to mention at the beginning lucy has a youtube channel her youtube channel name is waboyu anaivasha even if she's not as posting as much as we would love to kindly go and support her on her youtube channel channel we love you lucy thank you so much for being here now penna sana and yeah. yeah thank you so much i really do appreciate kukua hapa because you are one of my favorite youtubers <laughs> and i love what you do no for real for real i love what you do and continue doing what you're doing we learn a lot of things from you and like you said, I'll do better. I'll do better. Guys, I'll, I'll post. And like she said, I'm Wamboy Wanaivasha. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, follow me. Feel free. Feel free yes. to ask any question and I'll guide you. I'll yes, you. guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>